Teachers on this team over here, I can already feel it. Hey everyone at home, welcome to the Classroom Family Edition. Tonight on the show, I love these guys. It's the Smith family from Newcastle, Delaware. Yeah, all right, hype team. The Madden family from Satterton, let me hear you guys. Hey, they're about to go head to head, square off to see who walks away with this prize money. So buckle up, this game starts right now. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Your buzzers are already in hand, so you guys are ready to play. And now, the questions are in mine. Time starts right now. What is 12 times 5? First one in, Carolyn. 60? 60 is right. Who became the youngest elected president of the United States after beating Richard Nixon in 1960? First one in, Michael. Uh, John F. Kennedy. That's gonna get you there. Let's double the points here, a little extra credit on the board. In 2020, General Mills announced that it would be bringing back what popular 90s snack consisting of a small vanilla cookies and icing. 20 points on the board here. Amat. Incorrect for the steal. Free guess over here. Buzzing if you want to take a guess. Nothing. We were looking for Dunkaroos, one of my favorite. Which Golden State Warriors player broke Ray Allen's all-time three-point record in December of 2021? Abu. Steph Curry. That's going to get you there. In November of 2018, NASA announced that its InSight mission landed on what planet? Michael. Mars. Mars is good. In January 2021, what artist released their debut single, Driver's License? Ama. Olivia Rodrigo. Boom. And that's going to finish the round with the Smith family. Narrowly grabs the, the lead here. 30 points for you guys. <laughs> Nicely done. And Madden family, you guys are off to a great start as well. 20 points yeah. off the board. And you are tuned into the best show right here. Game shows. This is what we need. It's fun. And where do you meet the contestants? We're the Smith family from Newcastle. I'm Carolyn. I'm a nurse at Penn Medicine. And we have two daughters and three dogs at home. Hi, I'm Abu. I'm an avid golfer and a big time Birds fan. Go Birds! I'm Ahmad Smith. I'm a junior at MOC High School and I play basketball and soccer and I'm in a really winning mood because yesterday I was inducted to the National Honor Society. So, I'm ready. Hi, I'm Kelly Madden. I'm a fifth grade teacher in the North Penn School District. We have two dogs at home and I'm ready to win. Hi to my students! Hi, I'm Michael. I'm a middle school teacher in Quakertown, and I'm a big Eagles and Phillies fan. Go Birds, go Phils. Hi, uh, I'm Murphy. I'm a sophomore in Lancaster, and I enjoy playing soccer. Ahmad, National Honor Society? Yeah. What does that mean? Give the people at home a little kind of synopsis. Um, it means a lot to me. Uh, I worked really hard from middle school to high school, and uh, it just meant so much to get that email saying that I was in there. So. Hey, this is the perfect way to celebrate that. You guys are currently in the lead and holding that as we head into detention. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. That 40 points is a lot. Madden family, I'm sure you guys want those points, as well as the Smiths, but only one is going to win this round. Strategy is in play here. Good luck, everyone. And we're going to start with the Madden family, because you guys are trailing right now. Here mm -hmm. is your category to pass or play on. Pop culture. Pass. Don't love pop culture, Smith family, here's your question. What rapper made a surprise appearance during the Super Bowl 56 halftime show, and it was awesome, performed his hit song in the club while hanging upside down? 
50 cent. 50 cent is right, and the pass comes back to haunt the Madden family. Murphy, did you know that one? No. The part, well, then that was a good pass. <laughs> that was a great pass. Smith family, is it going to be Murphy, Kelly, or Michael? It's going to have to be Michael. Michael, that is an absolute right play here. He was hot and pop in a pop quiz there. Get him out of the game. And we always love to see a teacher head to detention. Michael, did you give any yet this year? Be honest. Not yet, no. That, no, you were supposed to say no, Richard. I never give any. No, not yet. Okay, <laughs> he leaves that open-ended. Okay, Smith, you guys now control the next question. Here you go, here's your category. Geography, pass or play? No, 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 We'll play. We're gonna play. Here, okay, here we go. Here's your question. Which US state is home to the world's tallest volcano, measuring from base to peak? Deep in thought here. Need an answer, guys. A volcano, right? Hawaii. Hawaii is right. <laughs> Turmoil was going on here on the Smith side. They couldn't figure out what they wanted to pass or play. They grabbed that question at the last possible second. Nicely done. And now it's it's Kelly or it's Murphy. Who's going to go? It's Kelly. It's <laughs> Kelly, our next teacher. They're so confident. Murphy, my man. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's awesome? What? You came to play, right? You came here and you said, Richard, I am ready to win this thing. And now you're gonna have a chance because the category goes back to you to pass or play on. How you feeling right now? Nervous. Okay. Well, let's give you let's give you your category. It's math. I'll play. That's my man. Here we go. Mom just gave a fist pump and detention. Here we go. On a coordinate plane, what is the term for the point where a line crosses the x-axis? The x-intercept. That's gonna get you there and hold on for dear life. Okay, we are breathing a sigh of relief here because the Smith family now loses a player. Who's it gonna be? Uh, Abu. Yeah, absolutely right. Start with all this and work your way down. Abu joins detention and we move back to the Smith family who now controls this category. Movies. Play. Play. They're gonna play. Here's your question. What is the name of the talking golden retriever who quickly attaches himself to Carl Fredrickson after meeting him in the movie Up? Sparky. Doug is what we were looking for, and it is down to one on one. Madden, family, it's just Murphy now. Who's gonna be? Ahmad. Ahmad leaving Carolyn, the nurse. She's a nurse at Penn. You do not leave her in this game. Here we go. Murphy, the good news is you came to play. You said, Richard, I came here to win, and now you can do that with this category right here. How do you feel about sports? Pass or play? I'm going to pass that. Wow. Carolyn, here we go. <laughs> What is the name of the type of tennis match played between two teams of two people with one man and one woman per team for the win? Uh, Need an answer? Doubles. Be more specific. Oh, I don't know. The answer was mixed doubles uh. and the pass Holds on, Madden family, you guys are out of detention. Get back here and celebrate with Murphy, who just was a one-man wrecking crew here on live TV. Carolyn, I hate to do this, but you now join Abu and Ahmad in detention. You guys stay there, you're not getting out of here that easy. Hey, when we come back, this game continues. I am sweating, Murphy, I am sweating. Guys, great round over here, unbelievable.
right, welcome back inside the classroom family edition. I hope you just caught your breath after that round. Unbelievable strategic play on Murphy's side to grab the lead and the Madden family currently stands exactly there. So here we go. Easels up next, which you know that painting comes into play. Our class is officially in game. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select mm. a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Mm. They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds mm. to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points decrease. Okay, Smith family, you guys are going to want to get back on the board here early, all right? So a first round guess is going to get you 30 points. Is it going to be that guessing of the blue or the red? Blue. You stand back here and you open that up and I'm going to uncap a marker for you as you do that. Remember, this is going to fly by. You're only going to have five seconds to draw as much as you can. And that's what you're drawing. I actually don't hate that for you. I think this could be good. You ready? Time starts now. Go ahead. Okay, stop right there. Whoa, right there. Right here we go. You guys ready? What did she draw? Talk about it. Ahmad taking control okay. conversation. Mm -hmm. Richard, our answer is whisk. Ahmad, I'm, I'm gonna give you those points. He's already on the board. How about it? Ties the game at 60 points apiece. Give me some of that drawing. That was awesome. That is, hey, mom did a really good job right there. We're gonna bring out Michael here. You're gonna head right over there, Karen. Okay. Michael, we're gonna good bring job. you out. I saw a little look there as Michael just walked past Karen. It was like, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna see how well he does here. I'm gonna give you the red card now. You're gonna open that up. Now, you're a teacher in school, right? Quaker Town? Mm -hmm. What grade? Uh, middle school. All right, so middle school teachers have the best artistic drawing. Everyone mm -hmm. knows that. Show them why. You ready? Mm -hmm. Five seconds starts now. Okay, stop right there. You guys ready? Yes. Discuss it. What did he draw? A leaf. Is that a leaf? A grape as well. A grapevine? A bunch of grapes. Or a leaf. Answer. Uh, our answer is grapes. Incorrect. You have five more seconds this round. Time starts right now. The correct answer with this round, Murphy Kelly's gonna get you 20 points on the board. Okay, stop right there. Oh, it's a leaf. Uh, our answer is leaf. Incorrect. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to finish this drawing, okay? 10 seconds left on the board here. Time starts right now. Hit that full 10. Kelly and Murphy looked at each other, gave each other a nod. I think they may have the answer already locked up. So it's going to be on Michael to make the necessary changes. Let's see if he did that. Guys, what did we look at? Uh, our answer is a pine cone. That's going to get you to 10. And back in the lead breaks the tie. <sighs> Up to 70 points. Strategy, strategy, strategy. It's unbelievable. Great add-ons there from our teacher in middle school. All right, more points on the line. I'm giving out some freebies. Let's go, extra credit. Okay, I'm gonna ask one extra credit question, teams. You're gonna have one minute during the commercial break to write down your answers. No talking quite yet. Here is your question. Meerkats are native to the southern part of what continent? All right, meerkats, meerkats. Do you know the answer? I hope you do. When we come back, I'll give you the answer. So stay right there. We got a barn burner going on, people. Hey, great draw, Michael. That was a great add on there. Good strategy involved. We strapped a rocket on our backs and have been blasting through this game since we said go. Two families, Smith, Madden, they are rocking this thing right now. 10 points separates them from $500 here as we're wrapping things. Now, before the break, I did ask both teams an extra credit question, and here it was. 
Meerkats are native to the southern part of what continent? And I'm hearing in my ear, it could be meerkats, not in my world, producers, it's meerkats. So, teams, we start with you, Smith family. Ahmad, what'd you say? We said Australia. On top of you. Australia, incorrect, not gonna get you the points there. Murphy, what did you say? Uh, we said Africa. For 10 points, yeah, Woo! that gets you there. Up to the 20 point lead currently. And Murphy, if you guys win this $500, what are you gonna do with it? Uh, I'll probably just save up for a car. I love that you decided that you're <laughs> keeping the money. Have well, not asked my Kelly car. or Michael. Yeah, okay. All right, well listen, I mean, listen, you got that good of a smile. You're the side, you get to choose, all right? And Ahmad, what are you guys doing with the money if you win it? Um, it would definitely go towards our Aruba trip that's happening in June. Of Aruba, time. you guys just got back from Hawaii. Yeah. You ever stay? <laughs> you know, they, they, they can't stop, I guess. All right, well honestly, can I be adopted into your family? I'll tell you what, let's all get on the bus, guys. We're taking a field trip. Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. All right, today, where are we going, guys? We're taking a field trip to Dalton Farms for its Sunflower Festival. Jen Frederick from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is gonna be asking these questions. She always does a great job for us, so Jen, Let's do this thing. Hey guys, I am here at one of my favorite places in New Jersey. It's called Dalton Farms, and this is their fourth annual Sunflower Festival. So here is your first question. Young sunflowers exhibit a trait called heliotropism, which means that throughout the day, they turn to face what celestial object? First one in, Michael. The sun. That's gonna get you up to 90. Yeah, the celestial sun there. Okay, Jen, question number two. It's beautiful there, by the way. Question number two might be a little bit easy for some of you guys. What famous Dutch artist is known for his two sunflower series of still life paintings created in the late 1880s? Kelly, first one in. Van Gogh. Van Gogh is right. I had no idea, so that one certainly wasn't easy for me. We have one more here, Smith Finn. Let's see if we can grab it. One more question about these beautiful blooms. Sunflower is the name of a song that Sway Lee collaborated on with what performer? First one in, Ahmad. Post Malone. Post Malone's right, gets you up to 70 points, and that is it for the field day. Dalton Farms, a beautiful location and a beautiful reader. Jen Frederick, thank you for your time and helping out today on that field trip. Okay, Madden family, you currently lead this game with 100 points on the board, but Smith, you guys have played wonderfully and you are knocking on that door and can win this game as we head in to that final exam. Okay guys, here's your top of the page final exam and it's royalty. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about these final exam topics. Each correct answer will get you 100 points. Guys, you'll write down your answers during the commercial break and you'll have 60 seconds to do that. All right, we start with this question number one and it is the famous phrase, let them eat cake is often attributed to what queen of France during the French Revolution, even though she likely never said it. Two, what is the first name of the teenage son of the king and queen of Aurorodon, who is poised to become the next of the throne in descendants? Finally, czars like Nicholas II and Ivan the Terrible were the rulers of what modern day country? Okay, three questions, 100 points each. These are tough today, 60 seconds. Let's put it on the clock. Teams, get ready to talk about it as we head into commercial. But before we go, here's a look at how you can be a part of the Classroom Family Edition. Get down here, I want you. Let's go, come here, get in here. What? Get in here, come on. Does your family want to be on the show? We're now accepting applications for new Classroom Family Edition. Head to theclassroom.com for more information.
Welcome back inside the classroom. I am loving this game right now between the Smith family from Newcastle County, the Madden family representing Monco and are currently in the lead, but 30 points. That's it. 30 points is separating these two teams from that $500 with 500 or excuse me, with 300 points still on the line for anyone to grab here. Three questions. Let's see how well we did. The topic of today's final exam is royalty. All right, guys, we're going to jump into this. Good luck, everyone, as we start with question one. The famous phrase, let them eat cake, is often attributed to what queen of France during the French Revolution, even though it said she likely never said it. Okay, that's the question. We start with the Smith family. We said Elizabeth here. Oh, a good <laughs> guess, a good <laughs> guess, but not gonna get you there. We're gonna go to the Maddens. Oh, we said Marie Antoinette. Maria Antoinette gets you up to 200. And that could be a really tough lead to come back from, but we keep moving on. We still have 200 points. You guys can do it here. We go with this question. What is the first name of the teenage son of the king and queen of Aurorodon, who is poised to become next on the throne in Descendants? It's been back and forth all day, but Madden family, if you get this right, the game is over. So Kelly. Okay. Uh-oh, that face is not helpful. We said Luke. <laughs> Incorrect. Leave the door open here. Smith family, you guys have to get this right or the game is over and Madden win that $500. What'd you say? We said Michael. <laughs> Incorrect, which means the Madden family, after an unbelievable game, wins the 500. Hey, stars like Nicholas too, Ivan the Terrible, they were in Russia. Hey, Ben was the name of the last one too, the Descendants. You guys played awesome, so did you at home. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time on The Classroom. I right, we love you.